Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's September 19th, 2022, and we're going to put the sea dew in the water today. I hope you will join us. Riding with my wife Tammy on the Mississippi River. The weather is beautiful, wind is below 10 mile per hour. We stayed last night at an awesome hotel in Dubuque and we're just ready to go. We are riding between locks 11 and 12. Today we're not going to go the full distance and I do have a goal. Uh, my goal for the last two days was to uh, familiarize uh, my wife with uh, the new Sea-Doo that I have and I kind of wanted to just see if she could drive it and how comfortable she felt with it. My wife is retiring in a few weeks. She won't have to go to work anymore so hey we're both healthy and we both love the water so I'm thinking you know get another new sedu uh, might be kind of fun maybe a little bit crazy for this phase in our lifetime while we're riding today I wanted to make sure that I kept everything smooth and calm I didn't want to scare her at all uh, with quick churns and fast acceleration I did sneak up to 50 and then again to 55 uh, just to get her reaction and um, you know I'm trying to decide in my mind which model would be uh, best which SeaDoo model would be best for her if I do end up getting a new machine. So this trip was a success. My wife again uh, became more familiar with the ski she loves the ski uh, and it's hard to get her to want to get back on the old GP 1200 and you know I'm thinking you know there's another ski in our future I feel so lucky as I ride the river I think about you know how we don't know about the next day. We don't know about our health. We don't know uh, about some of the things we cannot control in our life. And yeah, I'm lucky. I'm lucky that I'm able to spend this time with nature, with my wife, uh, to see the eagles fly, the Canadian geese. You know, the birds are just awesome. The scenery is awesome. My time on the Mississippi is awesome. during the ride that the sun would glare into my eyes and that would remind me about safety as we ride the river we do have to look out for an occasional floating log or maybe a tree with some limbs coming out of the water so we need to be aware of hazards and also you have other boat traffic so we want to be careful we don't get too close uh, to another boat and then we keep everything safe and fun for everyone One of the things that I worry about the most is um, the boat launch and and then also um, getting back onto the trailer at the end of the day with my ski. Um, you know, I found that um, the docks that are out there in a lot of places aren't really built for skis. Um, you know, with the different water levels and things like that. Um, you know, your ski could be low enough to where it kind of gets under the dock and does damage to your beautiful ski, your beautiful ride. Um, so, you know, I, I really am cautious and careful about that. Um, it really helps when you have a second person um, that you can um, count on to watch the skis as you go up and get the trailer and back 
into the um, loading zone.